What is up? That guy C4, brand new video. So now, today we are here with some Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 gameplay. And we're not here for the gameplay. We're here to talk about something else as in Dragon Ball news. Something else Dragon Ball related. And we are here to talk about the return, rumored return, of Dragon Ball Super in July of 2019. Now, a lot of people are excited about this. Me on the other hand, I'm not excited about this. I already watch a lot of anime and there's a lot of good anime coming out in summer in general so it's like it's cool but me personally I'm just not that excited about it but let's talk about my thoughts on Dragon Ball Super returning in July 2019 and to start I have some positive things to say nothing negative just things that I would like to see in Dragon Ball Super in return and also things that I hope to see as well but the first thing is a positive which is it's good to have dragon ball super in the ecosystem for a lot of reasons the first reason has to be nostalgic purposes and the reason why i say nostalgic purposes because a lot of people were older around my age if not a little bit older they like dragon ball super right or dragon ball in general dragon ball got them introduced to anime it got them for their love of anime and it's just good to see goku vegeta and everybody else fight and just go on adventures again who, like, how could you hate on that if you just love it for nostalgic purposes? On top of that too, it's a good way to introduce new fans into the Dragon Ball system and also into anime as well in general. So Dragon Ball Super kinda is doing something positive for the anime ecosystem. But with that said as well, there's a possibility that with this being added, we could get another Xenoverse, which is also good as well. Like Dragon Ball Super coming back, it has a lot of positive. I see no negatives. But as well, with another Xenoverse, you can get a longer story. And on top of that too, we get a story of Goku's journey now in the game, which, you know, it's, it sounds dope. I couldn't wait for it. So, I mean, I gotta check it out when it drops. But let me go on to my next point. My next point is... This is, this is something I want to see improved. I want to see the story improve. Now, let's be honest here. Dragon Ball Super did not have the best story. Let's, let's, let's be honest, guys. Dragon Ball Super did not have the best story. And I would have liked to see that improve. I would have liked to see the story of Super be a lot better. Um, because is Dragon Ball Super, like... All right, first of all, Dragon Ball in general doesn't have the best story, but Dragon Ball Super, it just seems like they just hit the decline and they were like, yeah, let's just, just saturate and just make this, eh. Like, come on, like, let, let's do a little bit better. But that's just me. I would just like a better story. On top of that, too, look, let's, please, 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 let's not have another Zamasu arc. I think that was the worst arc in Dragon Ball Super. Let's, let's, please, come on, guys. Let's not have another Zamasu art. We do not need that. That is not needed. I am good. I'm okay. Don't give me another Zamasu art. I will cry. Now, going forward, I want to see them do more with Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. And the reason why I say that is because those three characters have a lot of potential, but I feel like because the show is so revolved around Goku and Vegeta, it they don't get what they deserve. Like I would like to see Goten and Trunks grow up and do other stuff. I would like to, to I would like to see them do more than what they're doing now. Because Goten has potential to be the strongest out of all of them because if you guys don't know, hybrid Saiyans, they get their strength off of just emotion. Goten is a very emotional person, so I mean come on now, like I wanna see more Goten is on oh I just hit my phone on my desk. Man, this is I can't move my hands while I talk, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> but anyway, so that, that's that's what I would like to see though. I would like to see more Goten and Trunks and especially more Gohan. I feel like Gohan in the Cell Saga was such a good, great character that, you know, you know, we need more of him. We definitely, definitely, definitely need more of him. Uh it's just like come on and i know it's a, i'm not a gohan fan like that but i know there's a lot of gohan fans out there who would really enjoy seeing gohan pull up be his you know his ultimate gohan self if not his self so gohan self that would be dope that would be nice to see but gosh there's a car outside my house messing up my video we're going to keep going but 
<laughs> with that being said, my last final point definitely has to be <sighs> from a fan of Goku for purpose that I strongly believe Goku is stronger than Vegeta. You know, uh, I feel like we need that Goku versus Vegeta fight. I feel like we, you know, we need that. Not to say that this is, you know, I can never see Dragon Ball really dying, but I think we need that. I think we really need that fight. I feel like that fight is for the culture, in my opinion. That fight would probably end a lot of debates, even though somehow they're gonna come and be like, well, you know, Vegeta or Goku wasn't really going hard. They realized that, no, no, we need that fight. We need it to be a fair fight. We don't need any stipulations, nothing like that. We need this fight for the, for the, for the culture, in my opinion, you know? I have many more thoughts on these things, but these are just the, the thoughts that I just want to get out. These are the thoughts that I want to share with everybody because, like I said, Dragon Ball Super coming back is great for the ecosystem. It's it's amazing. We need that. I feel like Dragon Ball Super, when it came back the first time, got a lot of good buzz, got a lot of good energy. We just got off of the Broly movie, which is, you know, it's, it's a Dragon Ball movie, so it was good. But, you know, it's just, look, all I'm saying is, when Dragon Ball is in the ecosystem, a lot of positive things come out of it. When Dragon Ball returned, it came back. We got Xenoverse 1 and 2. So, did we get Xenoverse 1 and 2? I don't know. I think we, I know we just got Xenoverse 2. Anyway, regardless, these are my thoughts and fans. Let me know what you guys think about the return of Dragon Ball Super down below in the comment section. I would like to know what you guys think about it, how you guys feel. Some of you guys may be like, nah, it's dumb, it's stupid, we don't need it. Other you guys may be like, well, yeah, it's like you said, it's good for the ecosystem. We could possibly get another game out of this. But like I said, these are my thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you guys think about all this beautiful stuff down in the comments. And uh, I'm now guy C4, and I'll see you guys in my next video.